Niger Delta stakeholders has given the federal government three months ultimatum to address the agitations, especially the call for restructuring. The South-South leaders who gathered in Port Harcourt River State Capital are also calling on the federal government to convene a national conference where all aggrieved issues will be discussed. Speaker after speaker at the meeting are demanding the reduction of powers at the center to allow states to take decisions that are beneficial to them. I want to say that the only thing to put Nigeria to a state that will be devoid of insecurity is to restructure Nigeria now. Restructure Nigeria through which everybody will produce and pay tax to the center. Let everybody control their resources and we develop at our open. One of the first conditions of restructuring is to remove those powers from the presidency and make Abuja to preside over a few ministries, diplomacy, foreign policy, armed forces, currency, all other responsibilities to be taken over to the states. That is one condition. A federal high court sitting in Lagos has adjourned the final forfeiture of $5.78 million and 2.4 billion naira linked to the former Nigerian's first lady patient, Jonathan. Justice T.J. Rinjim, however, adjourned the case to October 7th after hearing from both councils. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission fined the application for the forfeiture in 2017. Blessing, Raji, VOS TV News. Thank <laughs> you.